Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on JNTU Labs. In this video, I am going to tell you about the DHT sensor programming. So as usual, you can able to see in my camera that I am connecting my DHT sensor. The red one is your VCC, so 5 volts and the black one is nothing but your ground and you can connect any or one of your pin digital pin your data pin so that is my blue color data pin okay so as you can able to see that i have connected it and i am placing it so now let us see the code so for this i have told you in my previous video about we will be using one library hash include simple dhd dot h so this is the library we will be using here and next take an integer variable nothing but dhd i am assigning a pin so I have connected my DHT to 8th pin so whenever I will be writing a, whenever I want a 8th pin so I will be using DHT so next simple DHT 11 space DHT so let me remove DHT I will be writing only 8 anywhere so simple DHT 11 and DHT that is nothing but your function starts there ok that is the reason you have to write it so next your semicolon here next let us begin our serial monitor we will be seeing what the values it is giving okay that's it serial dot begin so we need we need to see what is the temperature and humidity 9600 is my board right and next let us go here and let us take a float variable or an int variable let us have an integer of temperature tm that is i am assigning it to zero and then let us take one more variable int of humidity i am assigning it to zero again it here also. So next I want to read the data of digital uh, nothing but DHT and then I want to store in these two variables ok. So for that you have to write here this what is the name which you have mentioned here DHT dot read brackets open I want to read to for pin number 8 right I want to read I want to read the data from pin number 8 and then I need to store it in temperature T M P R A T U R E. okay and also I want to store humidity also DT and remaining things I want no nothing to be nothing I require more than that so because it is a continuous process as I have told you 40 bits it will be coming continuously so it will be converting and again it will be storing so remaining bits I don't want remaining the bits which are with our check bits which I have told you right last uh, last we will be getting a check bits also temperature then humidity will be getting and then and check bits also will be getting so remaining bits I don't want so null I don't want it I am placing it as null now what I want to do I want to print it in serial monitor serial dot print nothing but I want to tell temperature is serial dot print ln temperature T M P R A T U R E okay similarly humidity we require let us copy the code let me place it and we'll paste it replace the temperature with humidity and here also humidity okay so that's it i want to since it is printing continuously i am giving some delay of one second okay we can give delay of anything but just i am giving the delay of one second then after one second it will be printing my temperature so that is a simple code let me verify the things I don't want to save it so it takes some time as you know my video in my uh, previous videos also you have seen that it takes some time for checking and then uploading it so let us check it see I am getting an error here simple DHT so what you can able to do you can go to sketch include library I have seen here there is no library present see simple DHT right so what I can do I can go for manage library and search for simple DHT okay install it close it copy all the code once you close the close the window and again you open it okay because it will initialize the all the libraries again so for that the reason you open it once again okay since we have copied it just paste it now check the com board now you can verify it and also you can see your library here simple dht right we have your simple dht here ok you can take your char also i take byte byte is uh, byte will be very easy ok no problem so let me upload the code you can write int char byte integer it stores how many bits of data char it stores how many bits of data and then byte it stores how many bits of data it's all depends upon the how you are storing the data that's it ok that is the thing you can write byte it 
it bytes it will be storing so if you get any problems just comment below okay you will be facing this kind of problems in your arduino then you need to include your libraries or do something like that if you are facing you are still facing any problems in your coding part of this program then please comment below i'll be helping you for solving it okay so so you can able to see that the uploading has been done let us open our serial monitor and let us see temperature is 30 and humidity is 49 for every one second it is giving me the value humidity is more means the water content in my room is more where i am making the video because it is like rainy season right i am making it in rainy season so humidity is obviously more and temperature is 30 degree centigrade that is a normal so you will be getting accurate values plus or minus 2 degrees you have seen there in in my first video so this is what we will be getting temperature and humidity by using the dht module simple dht dot h is the header file which you have to include to get the output of the data remember friends for more videos please share with your friends and subscribe my channel and please comment below if you like the video or you dislike the video why you dislike the video and what are the things i can improve in my video thank you for watching this video hope it is very helpful for you thank you